Good day comrades! This is just random video that I make while I have free time, I don't have to do jack shit, so I figure I make random video and talk about couple things that have been inside my head the past few days. The first thing is when people write LMAO at end of sentence or LOL or any variation implying that they make laugh. 10 times out of 10, whatever they put before that, whatever they just wrote that they are laughing so hard at, is never funny. The only time I see this written at end of sentence is when whatever was just said is not funny at all. Ever. It's not, not even once. I never read something with LMAO at the end and think is really funny. Not even once. Speaking of things that uh, are not funny, have you ever had fart and when it come out, it feels like it's 300 degrees, it's very hot. Does anybody know why fart come out very hot like that? I want to ask my doctor, but I'm a little bit embarrassed. Maybe if I say I am asking for friend because friend asked me, knew I was going to doctor, so he said, hey, maybe you can ask doctor why some fart come out at 300 degrees. But no matter what, doctor is going to think that I am the one that have problem, which I am, but I don't want him to know that it is me. The other day, I was watching Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And you know scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger, he go to biker bar, he's completely naked, and he tells one of the uh, patrons that he wants, uh, he wants his clothes, and he wants his motorcycle. So he's a little bit fist fight with other patrons, but finally he, the guy throw him the keys and give him the motorcycle, and obviously he give him the clothes. But what I was wondering is, did the... Did Terminator also take his underwear? Because I kind of figure like... Terminator is cyborg, cybernetic organism, so he probably just needs outside clothes and he doesn't care about underwear. But he also has mission in his head that he has to look just like human and act like human as much as possible. And I figure he probably take underwear too. But I don't know. I watch a DVD a commentary at the end of a movie. Nobody mentioned about underwear. If Terminator also take underwear from biker guy. But can you imagine if he did? The guy, he's like sitting in corner. His hands are burned. And uh, he's cut all his clothes off and just sits standing there in underwear. And then machines say, I need the underwear too. And probably guy have a stain on backside of underwear. I, I forgot what they call his like uh, his landing strip or uh, skid marks. Yeah, he have skid marks on back of underwear. But because Terminator is cybernetic org, he does not really care. So he puts on someone else's underwear with someone else's skid mark on there, and he thinks nothing of it. This is why machines will take over, because human beings care about stuff like this. Machine do not care. It will put on somebody else's underwear, even if they have the skid marks. The other day, somebody said to me, something is dry as a bone. And I'm thinking, with like, inside of bodies, so much blood and so much water, that there is no way bone inside can be dry. Of course, they could be talking about the bone that has been sitting outside for a long time, and it hasn't been raining, like here in Arizona, everything is dry. So maybe they are talking about bone that was outside a long time, and it has not rained. In which case, everything is dry. So why say dry like a bone? Why not dry like a rock, or dry like a desert? Desert is mostly dry all the time. Bones are only dry some of the time. I do not understand this statement of why something is dry like a bone. I have some comrades that are uh, big fans of uh, show Doctor Who. I don't know if it's good or not. I have never watched. 
but I have brilliant idea for show called Doctor Who Gives a Shit. And basically what show is about is you have comrade who travel through time and space and alternate reality and universes and uh, he go and help other comrades out. Although he is mostly incompetent and the help that he does provide usually causes more trouble and doesn't solve any problems. But at the end of every show, somehow they all manage to get out of trouble, get out of problem they have, and a uh, doctor who gives a shit always tries to take credit for everything coming out okay. And then everybody point out, hey, you're fucking useless. And then he say, oh, who gives a shit? I think it would be a very good show. I would watch. So, seven or eight people die from vaping. At least that is what media say, but as always, media is full of shit. We have people dying from buying uh, illegal cartridges that have the THC and uh, using uh, vitamin E acetate that when inhaled into lungs creates oil or something like that is very not good and this is why people die. But of course, um, you know how most people are not, no, not too much. And so New York is banning flavors, Michigan is fla uh, banning flavors. Good job, you are banning 100% of the things that are not causing the problem. And then problem will can continue and then they're going to be sitting around wondering why problem is continuing when they already banned all these things that are not causing the problems. And so naturally, they will look for something else to ban. They say that uh, people like uh, the flavors, uh, kids are wanting to get the flavors. It's probably true. But I think most of all, you little son of a bitches getting the jewel because he's very high in nicotine and you puff like 50 times in a row and he gives you a little bit high. So if you are underage vapor, you are part of problem and you fuck up for everybody because you want to do something you're not supposed to and your mommy and daddy and catch you and now we have big problem for something that really isn't problem, but government thinks everything is problem, so they're just gonna ban everything. And then Donald Trump say, we're gonna ban flavors, but then next day on Twitter, he kind of go back and he say, no, 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 we just need to look at these closer, so who knows what will happen. But if you live in New York, or you live in Michigan, or San Francisco, California, well, looks like you're genuinely screwed. Also, comrades, some time ago, I posted this picture in the community section on YouTube and I said whoever give funniest comment, whichever comment makes me laugh the most, I will share on the next video and that was many months ago and because I suck at YouTube, I completely forgot. But I remember and I looked through all the comments, I read all comments. And the one that made me laugh the most is this one. It was by Cursed Content and he said, when you're taking a shit but realize you're out of toilet paper, so you got to get creative. That, um, that made me laugh pretty good. I'm not laughing now because it was many months ago and I left plenty of it, but that was the funniest comment that I saw at that time. So, Cursed Content, thank you very much for the laugh. So, comrades, that is all I have on my mind for now. I hope you enjoy video and thank you for allowing me to waste your time. I will hopefully post another video very soon. In the meantime, check out some of my other videos that I have made and have a great day.